Hello Blazers, this is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian, how you guys doing today? Welcome to a brand new video and in today's video guys, we're gonna be reacting to some more wonderful Russian propaganda music. And in particular, of course, our favorite Russian singer, Shaman. Now if you guys don't know who Shaman is, he's basically a returning character on my channel at this point. He's a young, up-and-coming Russian artist that produces very patriotic songs, for example, the legendary song Yaruski. <laughs> And apart from being an absolute cornball who claims that his dreadlocks are not Western influence but actually are meant to resemble ears of wheat on a Russian field, Shaman is also a tool of Russian propaganda that was created to disseminate Russian propaganda. Each and every single one of his songs has the message of Russia, you know, being the greatest country in the world and Russian people having a special mission in the world. He's already performed multiple times at Z events in Russia, like the recent one year anniversary concert in Russia during which they brought out uh, children from Mariupol on stage and tried to use them as propaganda weapons as well. Shaman was there, he performed there, so, you know, if you guys might get the thought that I'm being a little bit too harsh on the guy in this video, just remember that, okay? And Shaman has basically been one of Russia's main propaganda outlets for a while now. This has actually gone so far now that in the Russian city of Yekaterinburg, fifth grade kids were given an order to learn Shaman's song Yaruski by heart as homework for their music lesson. So yeah, this guy blows, but I think he's absolutely hilarious in how just how corny he is. Well guys, do I have bad news for you, because... Shaman has officially gotten rid of his magnificent sweet dreadlocks. In fact, he made a song about it. This is this thing right here called, uh... <laughs> I'm sorry guys, the thumbnail is just absolutely awful. You know what the thumbnail looks like? It looks one of these like XXX Tentacion memes with like <laughs> Queen Elizabeth or something like that. You know, somebody who's died recently. <laughs> like the resemblance is just uncanny. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, the song is called Confession. I want to just check it out with you guys and also check out some of his other new songs and just see what Shaman has been up to recently and see what Russian propaganda music is like these days. And uh, you know, I kind of feel like it's only gotten worse. And yeah guys, small disclaimer, I'm sitting here editing this video right now. The parts with the song songs and me reacting to it are gonna be sped up because Shaman actually copyright claimed the original version of this video and I do not want any of my revenue going to Z singers so uh sorry for party rocking <laughs> bro Man, like, I guess this music video is about him going to the church and uh, asking the Pope to cut his dreadlocks off and finally get rid of this nasty Western influence that are his dreadlocks, turn to God and become a decent, actual Russian man. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, why do all of his songs sound exactly the same, man? <laughs> I'm guessing this is the exact same location where the uh, Yaruski movie music video was shot. <laughs> This is why he's acting so emotional, probably. But uh, I guess it's not really Russian propaganda, this song, to be honest. Uh, there's not really that much of a nasty underlying propaganda message in this one. I just want to show you guys the moment where he actually gets his haircut. <laughs> I don't know if this is funny to anybody else, but like, what the fuck is up with Shaman's acting skills, man? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. The big reveal, guys. This is it. This is what Shaman looks like these days. You know, honestly, I think it's a better look than the dreadlocks for sure. Uh... <laughs> Alright, well, that was just a song about, you know, him being Christian or whatever, which is fair, you know? So now that we know the true story of how Shaman actually got rid of his beautiful dreadlocks, we can actually check out uh, his newer stuff, because there is way more to react to. So the next song that I want to show to you guys is uh, his most recent material, uploaded four days ago, called Samy Ruski Hit. <laughs> Samy Ruski Hit, Zakhadil Vchira. The song's title literally translates as the most Russian hit song. <laughs> I guess. I guess. Bro, you cannot tell me that this the beginning of the song doesn't sound exactly like his song Rise Up. What the fuck? All of these songs sound exactly the same. Like, this is the type of music that my grandparents usually listen to on the way to their dacha. Shaman, you need to just lay down some fucking bars and get on a track. I'll produce a beat for you, okay? Let's make a banger. 
<laughs> and I promise you, you will get to join Opium. The youth needs to hear your bars right now. <laughs> What is he talking about? Like, Shaman, you're literally Z. Like, you didn't leave the country. You're not protesting against anything. You're very complicit with everything that Russia is doing. So why are you missing home so much? Just, bro, just take a train. Just take a plane. Like, you're already in there. <laughs> like, what's the problem, man? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> First of all, like I already said, song sounds redundant as shit. It's actually unbelievable how generic this is. But also, guys, Z propaganda just has been spotted. So here Shaman says, uh, I'll let my heart ache for the people that I'm not going to give up. Now, to a mere mortal, this might sound like, you know, just a regular line, but to an expert of Russian propaganda such as myself, this is actually directly related to Z symbolism and the special military operation. Because when everything started, and I still didn't leave Russia yet, Bill boards around the city and screens and also advertisements in the metro were all covered with Z hashtag своих не бросает, which means hashtag we don't give up our own, we don't give up our kind. And here Shaman says that my heart is gonna ache for the people that I'm not going to give up. Again, Shaman just like, Shaman make one line in a song that does not reference, you know, Z goods, Russia goods, for at least one time. Challenge impossible, like, he just cannot help himself, really. <laughs> So yeah, the music video is great as well, you know, he's literally just sitting on the staircase in the, inside of a, you know, random Russian apartment. The grandma is looking at it. <laughs> this grandma is just looking at it like, who the fuck is this bomb ass sitting on my, sitting on my porch? <laughs> Singing some garbage song. I hope this grandma called the police. But this song is deserving of a noise complaint, for sure. There's also a delivery guy that's delivering food. So yeah, he keeps singing, the delivery guy comes down and uh, he's so impressed by Shaman singing that he decides to take a picture or a video. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, I actually didn't watch this music video before filming this to this point. So there's actually cops coming up the stairs now. <laughs> So the grandma did call the police after all. I mean, how am I this good, dude? How am I this good? How can I predict that that's gonna happen? Just shows how Russian I am, really, because... <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. Okay, so the cops are coming up the stairs, yeah. He's still singing. <laughs> Z, by the way, guys, check that out. <laughs> Cannot unsee it. The police are actually uh, knocking on the grandma's door and actually are about to take her to prison because how dare she criticize and call the cops on the legend that is Shaman. That is what's happening here, I think. Because funnily enough, this actually correlates to real life. Recently, there was a story in Russia where some guy basically wrote a report to the police reporting Shaman for apparently, you know, extremism. Essentially stating in his police reports uh, that Shaman's song Yaruski, I'm Russian, is like uh, nationalistic or whatever in its ideology. And Shaman actually wrote a response letter to that, like an explanation letter to the police, in which he basically said that he's written the song because he's Russian. <laughs> yes, that's an actual quote. And apparently right now, the guy that reports at Shaman is like under investigation or something, or is about to be fined for uh, discrediting the uh, armed forces of the Russian Federation. So, it's not a joke. Like, if you actually try to come for Shaman, they will respond with legal action. So yeah, the cops are about to take the grandma to the gulag. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what is that? What is- what is this? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, now that the cops came and threatened her with Gulag, she brought out a bunch of uh, pirashki for Shaman and for others to enjoy. In the stew. This is gonna be me and Shaman. This is what's gonna happen. Let's link up, bro. So yeah, great song, but uh, before we go on to the next video, though, I just wanna read a bunch of comments under this video and just show you how insane of a cult his fan base is. Unless these are all bots, of course. Good job, Yaroslav. I can tell right away that this all comes from the heart. You're a principled, kind, well-mannered, talented, very patriotic young man. Major thanks to your parents, to your grandma and your grandpa for raising such a great guy. And of course, I wanna just add, you're beautiful. Please take care of yourself, Yaroslav. Don't pay any attention to the jealousy. You're a great guy. I hope to God that all of the youth of our great country were like you. Uh, I just don't think I will. I just don't think I will, to be honest. <laughs> Good job, Yaroslav. Thank you for the message. We are all going to rise up. Russian soul. Sounds like a threat, bro. I'm Polish and I would never raise a hand to my brothers in Russia. Glory to Poland, glory to Russia. Z profile picture. Who the fuck is this, bro? <laughs> 
glory to our brothers from Poland who have not sold out to the America and Ukraine. Thank you, brother. So yeah, you guys know what kind of, you know, uh, high IQ individuals we're, we're dealing with here. But also, like, I just can't shake the feeling that when I read Shaman's comments, like, all the comments are just, they're insane. Like, literally every single person has to say how much they're crying because of the video. They have to say that Yaroslav is like their son now or some shit. They always tell him that, you know, God is, you know, looking out for him or whatever. This is a cult. These people are absolutely unhinged. Часто дорога жизни заносит нас в самые разные уголки нашей необъятной страны. И как же хорошо, хоть ненадолго, вернуться в свой родной дом, туда, где ты родился и вырос, где тебя любят и всегда ждут. Окей, okay, sounds promising. <laughs> Темную ночью никак не могу я уснуть. Окей. Okay. Okay, I see what this is. I guess the point of this video is basically to show that, you know, Shaman is not just uh, some singer from the TV or whatever. No, he's like a real Russian guy. He's just like one of us guys, you know? He lived in a, he lived in a Khrushchevka. That's crazy, dude. He's just like me, for real. He's got flowers, he's in some small town. They're basically trying to show how simple and good of a guy Shaman really is. Just like any of you Russians watching. Except that, you know, he has a 0% chance of being mobilized as opposed to the uh, people watching this video. But uh, I guess they're gonna leave out that information. <laughs> okay, okay, bruh. All right. <laughs> you wondering how? Well, and see, I get defenders look like I got the gal. What else says, you know, a simple, you know, regular Russian guy other than wearing a thousand dollar sneakers? <laughs> And by the way, guys, yeah, he's literally me, you know? I also came up and also relatively recently uh, went to my hometown. That was in the New Year's of 2022. But yeah, I was like in my mom's place where I grew up. Not a great neighborhood at all wearing these Balenciagas. So uh, yeah, he's just like me, for real, dude. I wasn't actually relating to this video very much. You know, I was, you know, <laughs> seeing Shaman for who he is. But now that he, you know, brought out the Balenciagas, now I can relate to this video. <laughs> But yeah, on a serious note though, I think it's pretty fucking hilarious, you know, that all of these patriots of Russia are all dripped out in enemy Western European clothing all over. From fashion houses, from Italy, France, or whatever. And I've actually even noticed this before, like, Shaman has a particular affinity for Balenciaga, actually. Like, he's been wearing the Balenciaga strike boots. So yeah, Shaman might seem like, uh, you know, a regular guy. Just like any of you simple-minded Russian folk that, you know, earn about $300 a month and are risking getting mobilized every single day. He's just like you guys, except that he's wearing sneakers that are worth a thousand bucks. In my opinion, this just shows that, you know, being a Russian propaganda singer pays pretty well. Okay, I mean... Are those, are those pirashki like the same prop they used from the last video? What? <laughs> Okay, I'm just hating for the sake of hating. The food looks nice, right? This is like every Russian meal of all time, you know? I actually kind of want to be there, to be honest. They got vodka as well. Shit, you know? I think I'm being seduced over here. Look, I'm not gonna hate on the video, to be honest. You know, it's old, cute grandmas and shit, you know? Like, I can't really hate on this. It's his family, you know? They have no relation to their son being a complete moron. I mean, I'm sure they're all Z, of course, but, uh, you know, still, they look like nice people. <laughs> But yeah, in this video, Shaman, instead of being, you know, an edgy, you know, singer, he's just a goofball, you know, an adorable goofball that loves his family and is down to eat some sproti with his parents and drink some vodka, whatever. Once again, guys, he's just like you. Please keep being Z and please keep your eyes closed to what is actually going on in the country. Nah, this is, this is difficult to watch right now. I'm, I'm hungry as shit. <laughs> I want to get done with this video as quick as possible. Just to have some fucking food. Yeah, guys, look, Shaman has been an adorable goofball, guys. <laughs> also, anybody ever thought that Shaman looks like a Neo uh, Nikolai Baskov, you know? A pretty well-known Russian singer. He's also Z as shit right now. But he's also, you know, he doesn't really appeal to anybody anymore. So Shaman is like literally uh, a clone that they grew out of a fucking uh, <laughs> test tube to replace him as the new, you know, Z spearhead. <laughs> I mean, honestly, really, there's nothing, like, to really criticize in the lyrics of this song. It's alright, you know, it sounds like a nice little, you know, kind song about, you know, loving your country or whatever and loving the place that you, you know, came from. But, you know, Shaman, I just don't think that selling your ass to Russian propaganda is the way to, uh, whatever the fuck you said in the lyrics, you know, give uh, giving up everything so that Russia can ex still exist, you know? No, you're working against the interest of the Russian people. But, yeah, before we round this off, uh, once again, let's read a couple of comments. Yaroslav, you are the best. Sing 
for the country, for us, for our warriors. You are a breath of fresh air for everybody who loves their motherlands. God save you. This boy is teaching us to love our country the way it is. With Khrushchevkas, with Vesenia Rasputis, I don't know how to translate that, basically it's duck shit on the roads during spring. Grandmas, grandpas, dinners when we do everything in one place, etc. May God give him health, most importantly, mental health. <laughs> I mean, that's not how this is translated, but whatever, let's leave it at that, to be honest. Shaman definitely needs some mental health. This song sounds like a prayer. A prayer to the skies. Great job, dudes. He understands that alone you cannot survive. We gotta have faith. Dude, this is fucking crazy, man. <laughs> what is going on with Shaman's fanbase, dudes? I'm sitting here and the tears are just rolling off of my face. I love my motherland so much. Live my Russia. Dude, the people that are commenting in this video are literally like 70-year-old grandmas who barely know how to use the internet. <laughs> And I guess all of them literally just think that Shaman is like their son. This entire music video of, you know, him pretending to be just like, like one of us, you know, a regular guy. It's working because the people that are watching this are all boomers. But also, yeah, like Shaman is definitely trying to create an image for himself and it actually works and it's almost manipulative towards, you know, the feelings of these just old people that are fans of us because nobody, of, of, you know, under the age of 75 listens to Shaman seriously, okay? <laughs> I'm telling you that right now. I don't know what to say, to be honest. I just have the utmost disrespect for Shaman. Once again, I hope those paychecks are doing you well and keeping you in Balenciagas. Well, you literally profit off of and you complete fucking cunts. Sorry guys, uh, had a little bit of a loss of temper there. Anyways guys, yeah, I can say that I can't really take any more of a Shaman anymore. My daily Shaman intake has been, you know... <laughs> It's up there, you know, I'm on the verge of losing my mind, so I think we gotta end this video right now. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, if you guys did, then please make sure to slap the like on it. As well guys, if you want to support this channel additionally, you can go over to the link down in the description. The first thing you see in the description, you can become a YouTube member, it helps me out a lot. Also, you can do a super thanks underneath this video. And yeah guys, I guess that is going to be pretty much it for this video though, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.